I want to welcome everybody to our 2017 Hall of Fame induction ceremonies. I'm John Phillips, Director of Athletics. I've been here at Embry-Riddle for 20 years, uh, so I'm really fortunate tonight. All six of these inductees, I got a chance to uh, watch uh, play baseball or basketball or run or volleyball or whatever their sport happened to be. So really cool opportunity for me to, uh, to induct these folks who I've seen firsthand uh, come through our program as student athletes. To, to, our, to our six inductees, Congratulations uh, on an awesome, awesome accomplishment and uh, really looking forward to a great night here tonight. Uh, before we get started with our program and our meal and everything, uh, I, I do want to invite our, uh, our president, Dr. Karen Holbrook, to make a couple of comments. To our student athletes who are being inducted tonight and our alumni, you probably haven't had a chance to meet her yet, but she is an awesome lady. I hope you'll get a chance tonight to introduce yourself. Uh, she comes to us uh, half, after a great, great career at places like uh, South Florida, Ohio State University, the Ohio State University, where she was president, uh, the University of Georgia, where she served as provost, and uh, we have loved our time here with her at Embry-Riddle. So please welcome Dr. Karen Holbrook. Thank you, JP, and thanks to all of you. This is a very exciting night. Um, I, like everything at, at Embry-Riddle that I have learned about, this is a night of excellence. It's amazing to have read this, the, I don't know if you'd call them CVs, they're not CVs, the stories about each of the people being inducted tonight. And as you read them, you get chills at how good they are. And I think that says a lot about our students in general, but these people being inducted tonight are incredible athletes, but they're more than that. They are incredible players, people, and what's the third one? A student is first. <laughs> student, 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 person, and player. I love uh, that that trilogy of putting those three together because reading about what you've all done, you've been amazing athletes, and you've done wonderful things here. And the testimonials to the kinds of things that you have done are just extraordinary. But what I like the most is not only that, but you've also been great students and great people. Every person who talks about one of these athletes that's being inducted tonight says something about how you are received on this campus and how people viewed you when you were here. So you embody what it is that Embry-Riddle wants to do. We really want our students to be great students, but to be great people and to be great at everything they do. And you've gone on to amazing careers. So typically, one of the things I love to say all the time about our Embry-Riddle students is when they come, they, knew who, they know who they are, they know where they're going, and they know why they're here. And we have the most amazing students, and we have the most amazing student athletes. And as we move into our final phases of the NCAA double, NCAA double two, and what am I trying to do, say? NCAA two. We're going to just continue to soar in our athletic program, but it has been so good in the past. And I thank JP, I thank our coach, Steve Ritter, and our, all of our other coaches who do such a phenomenal job in bringing our students along as great students, as great people, and as great individuals who go out into the world and make Embry-Riddle very, very proud. And to all the students who are here tonight, all our student athletes, you make us proud every single day because all of you do such phenomenal things. So thank you for letting me be here. Thank you for being part of this great university. It truly is a great university. So thank you very much. I'd like to invite our uh, cross country and track and field coach, Mike Rossellino, to come deliver our invocation and then we'll have our meal. So I'm the only one standing between you and eating, so I'll try to keep this short and to the point. But if you would, bow your heads with me. Dear Heavenly Father, as we come together tonight to celebrate the talents of a few of our individuals, we gather today to thank you for all the gifts you've given each of us, for all the talents you've given us. We ask your help in using those talents to make this world a better place. We ask you to bless our evening tonight to bless our conversations, to bless this food in which we are about to partake. We ask your blessings upon all of our families and friends 
and upon all those who've worked so hard to make this evening special. We make all this prayer to our Heavenly Father. Amen. Our program will begin in about, uh, about 45 minutes or so, uh, so for now, please enjoy your salads. If anyone has any uh, special dietary needs, gluten-free or anything like that, our Sodexo staff, who is back there in the back, is more than happy to help you, so please let one of them know if there are any special needs that you have, and if not, we'll be back here in just a few minutes, and we'll start our program. Thank you. Well, I'm going to start with the gentleman who's sitting at my table tonight. He is Hall of Fame class of 2015. Uh, he is Board of Trustee Emeritus and one of the... Uh, Founding fathers of Embry-Riddle helped move Embry-Riddle here, build Embry-Riddle here, and certainly been a great fan and friend of our athletic program. Please uh, give a warm Embry-Riddle welcome to Jay Adams and his wife, Leela. <laughs> Sitting next to Jay is, uh, is another Hall of Fame inductee, former president of Embry-Riddle, uh, and talk about someone who helped build our athletic program. Dr. Sliwa was the president here from 92 to 99, 91 to 99, and that's the time frame, somewhere in that range. But uh, our athletic program was, uh, was, was very, very small at that point. In fact, the ICI Center opened in 1995. We didn't have any facilities when Dr. Sliwa first got here, and he played a great role in helping us uh, build our athletic program and, more importantly, build our entire university. So a, uh, a great welcome to our former president, Dr. Steve Sliwa. Class of 2011 in the Athletic Hall of Fame, uh, Kyle Moss is here somewhere. Kyle's right over here. Welcome Kyle Moss from the men's basketball team. And speaking of the men's basketball team, the national championship team was inducted into the Hall of Fame in 2009. And I think I have all the names here. Ryan Rothrock, Kyle Moss, Jan Price, Heath Faubacher, Jason Cruz, Oliver Shields, assistant coach Austin Brownlee, and head coach Steve Ritter. Our national championship team and Hall of Fame inductees. Please, you guys can stand up. It's all right. Come on. There you go. Also want to thank our Hall of Fame selection committee members. Somebody asked me earlier tonight, how do you get picked for the Hall of Fame? And it's a great question. Uh, there's, a, there's a group of volunteers who spend some time evaluating the nominations, and uh, many of them were, uh, were, were very, very, very detailed. Uh, very detailed, especially those folks who serve in the United States Air Force. Very detailed, Abby Hall. Well done. Uh, but the Hall of Fame Selection Committee, uh, these folks, please, uh, a round of applause for them. Mary Ellen Wynn, Sanja Taylor, Leslie Whitmer, Allison Smalling, Austin Brownlee, Bill Thompson, John Rollins, Bill Grahams, and our student athlete representative this year was Lonnie Martz. So uh, Hall of Fame Selection Committee, thank you for your service. A couple of great sponsors that help make this event possible and many, many other things that we do here uh, at Embry-Riddle. I'll start with Daytona Mitsubishi and Daytona Kia. Richard Nesbitt and his wife, Denise, are right over here. Richard, thank you very much for all that you do for us. Also from uh, Brown and Brown, we've got uh, half the company here, I think, and employees, but the leader of that group at this table right here is Decker Youngman. So, uh, Decker, thank you very much for Brown and Brown support. And then one of our great sponsors that helped make this event possible and also our, uh, our Blue and Gold Gala in the spring. And uh, right in the back there is Artie. I think everybody knows Artie, but Artie, Chuck, and your team. Thank you for tonight and all you do here at Emory Riddle. Great supporters and great sponsors of our athletic program. So it's a, a great time in the history of Embry-Riddle. As I mentioned earlier, I've been here for 20 years, so I've seen a lot of changes in terms of facilities and presidents and uh, the way the culture has changed, the way our athletic program has grown. And, and for those that are returning to campus for the first time in a couple years, it's a great time at Embry-Riddle. Uh, enrollment this fall was over 6,000 for the first time in, uh, in history of the Daytona Beach campus. Record-setting enrollment in Prescott as well. There are over 2,500 students now. And of course, our worldwide campus is booming in the tens of thousands of people. So it's a great time here. Our worldwide campus, you may have seen online, was just recently recognized as the number one online education program in the country. Number one in the country by US News and World Report. So, yeah. Dr. Watrett and all the team down there at Worldwide are doing a fantastic job for our university. And uh, for those that have not been here physically, if you haven't driven south yet on Clyde Morris, 
and seeing the new Micaplex, part of our research park. It's about 90 acres of land down there the university is going to develop and uh, bring a lot of high paying jobs here, high tech jobs, and maybe most importantly, keep some of our graduates right here in Daytona Beach and do great things. So great opportunities for students to do research while they're here and uh, great economic impact to our community. So a lot of great things going on here at our university. It's a great time at Embry-Riddle. And uh, on the athletic side of the street, I think everybody's aware of our Division II transition. Uh, I, I think that goes without saying. It's been a great time over the last two years, an evolving process. We're in the stretch run. We're almost finished. And our staff has done a phenomenal job. I do want to share a couple stats. Uh, whenever you get a chance to brag about your student athletes, I know we've got several of them here tonight, so uh, I, I do want to recognize them, our current student athletes who are here, uh, seeing the folks that laid the groundwork for them tonight. But in the fall, our student athletes had a 3.18 grade point average overall, 271 student athletes total, 189 of them, 70% got at least a 3.0, 120 or 44% got at least a 3.5 and 45 student athletes got a perfect 4.0, 17% of the population. So to our student athletes, current student athletes, please stand up and be recognized. Current student athletes that are here, where are they? Yeah, we got some here, soccer players, baseball, got some over there. You know, the folks who are going into the Hall of Fame kind of laid the groundwork for Embry-Riddle and our athletic program, and you guys are carrying the torch now and, uh, and doing a great job in the classroom, great job on the field and on the court, wherever your competition might be held. But it's a really good time uh, here at Embry-Riddle. So uh, thank you all for being here tonight. Thanks for making the effort to come back, uh, those that have traveled from, uh, from near or far and taken time to support our Hall of Fame inductee.